Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. This video is all about the cloud types and its features, which is very frequently asked topic in the environmental science geology examination. So if you are preparing for any of these entrances, this will be very important, and all these things are given point wise along with the quick notes. So get ready with your notes so that you can write down all the important points. So first of all. How these clouds are given name? So the clouds के नाम किस तरह दिए जाते हैं? Based on their shape and their height into the sky. And some clouds are puffy like cotton, while others are grey and uniform. So some जो clouds हैं cotton के form में होते हैं in shape of cotton, and some cotton जो हैं uniformly spread हुआ करते हैं. And some clouds are near to the ground, while others are near to the top of the troposphere, and some are also located in the stratosphere region. But the thing is, how these clouds are classified? So mostly the clouds are divided into three groups that are high clouds, middle clouds, and low clouds based on their height of the clouds base above the earth's surface. So ये आपको समझ में आ गया? Next is other clouds are grouped not by their height. So there are certain clouds which are having unique characteristics or feature, such as for example which are formed alongside the mountains. Their example is lenticular clouds, or the clouds which are formed beneath the existing clouds are called as mammatus clouds. So in सब के बारे में हम जानेंगे. सबसे पहले देख लेते हैं types of clouds के images and let's know that what are the important characteristics for them. So you should remember the names first of all. The things are the clouds' name are cirrus cloud, cirrostratus cloud, or cirrocumulus clouds, which are high-level clouds. Then comes alto cumulus, alto stratus, and nimbo stratus clouds, which are found in the mid-level. Next, the low-level clouds are cumulus, strato cumulus, and stratus clouds. And the cumulonimbus clouds it extends from the lower to the higher level. सो so, आइए जानते हैं एक एक करके द हाइट ऑफ दिस क्लाउड्स एंड द रीजन वेयर दे आर प्रेजेंट सो एज वी डिस्कस्ड हाई क्लाउड्स आर द क्लाउड्स व्हिच आर फाउंड 5 टू 13 किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड दैट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ फीट इट इज 16000 टू 43000 फीट एंड व्हाट आर दे दे आर सिरस सिरोक्यूमुलस एंड सिरोस्ट्रेटस क्लाउड्स एंड द नॉक्टिलुसन क्लाउड्स are the highest clouds in the sky you should remember and these are the categories of the noctilucent clouds and these noctilucent clouds are called as polar mesospheric clouds when they are viewed from space agar hum space se in clouds ko dekhenge tab hum inhe kahenge polar mesospheric clouds but if you are observing from the earth then we'll call it as noctilucent clouds so both are same they are high clouds but different name when viewed from space and earth surface Next, coming to the middle clouds or mid clouds. So, what are these mid clouds? Mid clouds examples are alto cumulus or alto stratus clouds. And where they are found? They are found two to seven kilometer from the earth surface, or in terms of feet, it is seven thousand to twenty three thousand feet approximately. Now, we will know about the low clouds. So, low clouds obviously they will be located in the lower regions. So, उनका जो है जो रीजन है दैट इज एक्सटेंडिंग फ्रॉम द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ टू द टू किलोमीटर रीजन इन द एटमोस्फेयर एंड वी कैन से फ्रॉम सरफेस टू सेवन थाउजेंड फीट एंड व्हाट आर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ लो क्लाउड्स दे आर स्ट्रेटस स्ट्रेटो क्यूमुलस एंड निम्बो स्ट्रेटस क्लाउड्स सो आई होप यू आर राइटिंग डाउन ऑल दिस थिंग्स लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट क्लाउड्स आर नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू द हाइट बट अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्पेशल फीचर्स यस स्पेशल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होता है इन क्लाउड्स का फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्लाउड्स विद वर्टिकल ग्रोथ सो मोस्टली वी नो दैट क्लाउड्स जो है वो ग्रो करते हैं हॉराइजेंटली बट द क्लाउड्स विच आर ग्रोइंग वर्टिकली जो कि अपवर्ड ग्रो करते हैं उन्हें कहते हैं क्लाउड्स विद वर्टिकल क्लाउड्स वर्टिकल ग्रोथ एंड दे आर क्यूमुलस एंड क्यूमुलो निम्बस क्लाउड्स सो दे एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द सर्फेस टू थर्टीन किलोमीटर इन द एटमोसफियर एंड दे ग्रो अपवर्ड इंस्टेंट ऑफ द साइड वर्ड्स सो इंस्टेंट ऑफ साइड वर्ड्स दे ग्रो अपवर्ड्स Next coming to the unusual clouds. So why these are unusual? We'll know in the coming slides. They are lenticular, Kelvin-Helmholtz, and mammatus clouds. So we'll know one by one about these things. They are in the unique way of their formation and are not grouped by the height characterization. Next coming to the final thing that is the contrails, which are a typical kind of clouds, which are because of the jet engines moving in the sky. We'll know one by one about all these things. Let's know all the important points related to each of these clouds. So these are very important 
kindly note down and again i will be showing you some of the images while i will be discussing their points starting with the cirrus clouds so cirrus clouds are made up of ice crystals and look like long thin wispy white streamers high in the sky so higher clouds are the cirrus clouds if it is given in the option highest clouds the option will be cirrus clouds they are also commonly known as mare tails so why they are called as mare tails because their shape is like the tail of the horse and these clouds are often seen during the fair weather so as you can see in this picture this is cirrus clouds coming to the next type of clouds that are cirro cumulus clouds they are small rounded puffs that usually appear in long row high in the sky so as you can see in this picture when these clouds cover a lot of the sky they look like the scales of a fish ye aapko dekh sakte hain fish ka jo scales hai usi ke shape mein hai that's why it is also called as mackerel sky so mackerel is a kind of fish so the cirro cumulus clouds are also called as mackerel sky when they are present in the sky all over the sky cirro cumulus are common in the winter and they indicate fair but cold weather coming to the cirro stratus clouds they are high clouds they are seen thin sheet like thin clouds so this is important sheet like thin clouds ko hum kahenge cirro stratus clouds that usually cover the entire sky coming to the next kind of clouds as you can see in this picture they are alto cumulus clouds they are mid level clouds they are grayish to whitish in color with one part darker than the other yes the part one side of the clouds is darker than the other side this is the peculiar characteristics and alto cumulus clouds usually they form in groups and are about 1 km thick so these are this much thick that are alto cumulus clouds coming to the next type of cloud that is alto stratus clouds so they are also mid level clouds they are gray or blue gray clouds that usually cover the whole sky the sun or moon may shine through an alto stratus cloud but it will appear watery or fuzzy so sun or moon ray hum inke through dekh sakte hain but it will appear watery or fuzzy when looking through this alto stratus clouds chalte hain hamare next slide ki taraf next slide is about the stratus clouds the first point is about them they are low clouds and have a uniform gray in color and they can cover most or all of the sky so all the sky will be covered by them or most of the region of the sky these clouds can look like a fog that doesn't reach the ground so mostly the fogs are reaching the ground you can see but these stratus clouds are the kind of fog which will look like a fog that doesn't reach the ground next is strato cumulus clouds so they are low lumpy and gray in color lumpy means they will be having lumps so ye lumps hota hai inme as you can see in this picture that's why they are called as lumpy clouds next thing is nimbo stratus clouds are dark gray and they have ragged bases and sit low in the sky so they are present low in the sky and these clouds are associated with the continuous rain or snow if question is there continuous rain or snow then you should select nimbo stratus clouds coming to the next point that is the cumulus clouds they are vertical growth they have the vertical growth they are puffy white or light gray clouds that look like floating cotton balls cotton balls jo hota hai unke jaise wo dikhte hain and they are having sharp outlines so most of the clouds are not having the sharp outlines but cumulus clouds are having sharp edges or outlines so they are generally about 1 km in their width next is cumulonimbus clouds cumulonimbus clouds they are also vertical growth clouds and they can grow up to 10 km high so this is lot many height that is 10 km height they can grow at this height high winds will flatten the top of the cloud out into an anvil like shape so then when reaching this kilometer height that much height the high winds will flatten the top so winds ke zariye unka jo top hota hai wo anvil shape ka ho jata hai you can see ise kehte hain anvil then cumulonimbus clouds are thunderstorm clouds yes if you someone will ask what are the thunderstorm clouds and which are associated with heavy rain snow lightning sometimes also they are the senders or messengers of the tornadoes they are cumulonimbus clouds these are very important let's move to the next slide next slide is about the lenticular clouds so lenticular clouds which are also called as lee wave clouds form the downwind of an obstacle in the path of a strong air current 
yes when the strong air current is having a obstacle then these clouds are formed and these lenticular clouds are lens shaped and often look like flying saucers so question we i have there are certain times that which clouds are known as the flying saucer shaped or lens shaped the question answer will be lenticular kind of clouds next we'll see about the kelvin helmholtz clouds they look like breaking waves in the ocean so ocean ke jo lehre hain unka breaking ke shape mein hota hai kelvin helmholtz clouds and these are formed when there is a difference in the wind speed or the direction between the two wind currents in the atmosphere so kab milta hai kelvin helmholtz clouds when the difference is seen in the wind speed or direction between the two wind currents in the atmosphere next are mammatus clouds which are pouches of clouds that hung underneath the base of a cloud so clouds ke base ke niche se jo pouches milta hai use mammatus clouds kehte hain they are most often associated with the cumulonimbus clouds yes mammatus clouds are associated with cumulonimbus clouds mostly that produce very strong storms and the name mammatus comes from the latin word mamma or breast so as you can see in this picture mammatus clouds are having the pouches of clouds next is the important thing that is known as the contrail so contrail are the type of condensed vapor they are not typically in the cloud form but how they are formed when jet aircraft flying at high altitudes they produce the trail of this condensed vapor called as contrail how they are formed when the mixing of the hot exhaust gases from the engines of the aircraft yes aircraft ke engine se jo hot exhaust gases nikalte hain when they mix with the cold air of the outside then that forms the ice crystals to form the particles and that is known as the condensed vapor form that is contrail now one more point you should note down that what are polar stratospheric clouds so these are from the name as you can guess they are located in the stratospheric layer of the atmosphere polar stratospheric clouds so i hope you have learned something new from here and these things will definitely help you in the examination so if you like this don't forget to give a thumbs up share it with your friends and yes subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now and if you have subscribed then thank you very much so see you guys in our next video